wear a hat, sometimes play chess And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage flame But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score So I dream of Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Nicole Cole. Today we are going to work in our um, dining room area. I have left it all red, white, and blue, and I'm probably going to leave some red, white, and blue out until probably September the 11th, and then after that we will get started with fall decor. I'm super excited about fall this year. Um, I've got a lot of plate settings that I'm going to do for fall but I do want to kind of clean it up in here and just more or less make it every day with just a hint of the Americana. But let me take you off this stand and just show you around the room. I have moved some furniture in here and I have moved some furniture around as you can see behind me. So let's just look real quick. So as you can tell, most everything is very much the same. I do have some pieces sitting on our dining room table that I want to kind of incorporate in there, in here, excuse me. And then I did move this particular buffet dresser was on this side of the room. And I moved my mother's old TV cabinet in here. I thought it would be beautiful underneath my upside down mirror. I did move some artwork out of here, but I kind of want to redo all of this or restage it, not necessarily redo it, just restage it. So I think what we'll do is we'll start on this side, go to the hutch possibly, to the dining table, and then the buffet table. So let's get started. As you can tell, I've just got some blue and white, some white. I found these crystals the other day, and they're from an old chandelier and I hung some on our chandelier here in the dining room and I wanted to share with you how I hung those so we will do that in a minute I'm just going to lay these over to the side now I do want to kind of redo this area I, I like it but I want to tweak it a little bit more so I'm just going to take everything off get a clean slate and then start over So that's invoking the platter idea that I want to start adding. Now I want to add something on this tabletop. I want to do blue and white, but I don't know if I want to do a table runner. I have these really pretty doilies that I use a lot. I use doilies everywhere. I love them. And it just adds some interest. I really want something different. I don't want, you know, one here, one here, one here, all symmetrical. I want something different. So this is what I'm thinking. On this side, let's do a couple books. I 
be really pretty blue and white. don't like it with the orange. That almost looks fall. Let's try this cape holder. Cape plate. A white height. That's flat. It's not wobbly. Add that in. Now I need something low there. I thought about using my blue bowl, but I'd love to have something in it. needs to be bigger. A little secret. So when I do bowls or anything around the house, I put some smell good in it. I always do that just to kind of add another layer of smell. I love everything to smell good. This is my infamous greenery or it's a garland piece that you can get from Hobby Lobby and I've cut it apart and I'm just going to stick that in there as my base. I don't have too much bubble wrap. I almost don't like that. Maybe, maybe I should do my apples. It's, it's summer. What about lemons? So a lot of people have asked me, where do you store all your stuff? So you'll notice, and when I show you back around, I'll let you know, I have everything, all of my furniture pieces has a ton of storage. That's the one thing that I look for is tons of storage. That gives me places to put fruits and greeneries and but I'll give y'all a sneak peek of that before we leave today but I have this greenery that I bought from Kirkland's and my thought was to just kind of bend this down Now, you can see I have a few little holes. So what I'm gonna do with those is I'm gonna fill them in with pears because I love pears. The pear adds a little bit more color, a little bit more texture, and I love how this turned out. I am gonna add my blue and white salt and pepper shakers just to the side. And that's all I'm gonna do over here. Let's move to the hutch. So the hutch area is kind of bare right now because I did take some of my plates out, but I'm gonna take all of this white and blue out. I wanna use more blue for right now. So I'm gonna take all of this out. I wanna use this blue. So I have most of my um, willow in here and that's what I want to use. So let me kind of get this over here. So you can see I have all varieties of sizes. So I kind of mix it in around the piece to make it look right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my medium size first because I have more of those. And that is this size. Now, I have these all 
off-white color, blue and white. And my thought was, behind the smaller ones, to make them appear bigger, and to store my extra china in the back. So that's how a lot of times you'll see I may have layered pieces in there, but it is to store my pieces as well. So I have two more clays. These are slightly different. So I may kind of set these to the side for right now. And I have two of the large plates. And I want to use those up top. Now, they don't need anything behind them, but I am going to put a dish behind them. Once again, for storage purposes. things rattling it is up top I have um, some glassware and some baskets up top so don't fear there's nothing gonna fall all right so I've got the top two shelves now I want to kind of work in this area a little bit I have this larger piece of old willow once again, I'm going to use a plate behind it. It just gives more dimension. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it does. I'm going to add these. Hmm. I think I'm going to put this in the center. And do one here. Let's see if I have any more large plates. I have this one. So I don't have any more large plates. I only have one more, and I think I'm just going to use it on the bottom in just a moment. But let's fill this with blue and white. So I want mostly this this pattern. ton of saucers. I'm just going to spatter them around. This pattern so I'm just going to use that up here it's the same pattern it's just a different style cup so let's see I not long ago picked this up so I think I'm going to put that here and then my two matching cups Remember my little lantern? My husband, I'm going to stick that right Mix in a little wood, maybe. feeling all of the blue. I'm loving it. And I want more of that. That's what I want. Another coffee cup. Look at the inside of that one. Isn't it gorgeous? Honestly, yeah. I'm going to 
I have this one. I think I'll put it here. These are the dark, dark color. They're so pretty. Now, I have some smaller of the white plates. Let's see. plate stand, a larger plate, Remember these? So as you can see, I have all of my darker blue willow in this cabinet. I did mix in a couple of pieces that I had that were dark just to um, fill in some holes. I may even add this little teapot just because it is the dark blue. But almost all of this is the original willow pattern love how this turned out i will probably tweak it some more but for now it's done so y'all can get a good view of it this is the cabinet closed with all the blue so as i was saying tons of storage all my drawers i can fill it with greenery or, or apples or any kind of filler that i have the drawers are shallow enough that things don't get mashed. Perfect storage. On this buffet, I think I'm going to display all of my teapots, coffee pots. I'm just put them all across here. I'm gonna take the flags down, I'm gonna take everything down, and then we'll start from scratch. I think I wanna put my teapots on one side and my creamers and sugar bowls on the other because I have a few of those, and I'm thinking I wanna mix those in. So one side, and the reason I'm gonna do this side with the taller items is because my door is on this side of the room. So when you walk in, it draws your eye into the room. And you know, the more I think about it, why don't I use my mother's sofa tray? I know all of them may not fit, but a greater portion of them will. This one was my mother's, and this one was my great-grandmother's. So I'm almost thinking, what if I did this? I've got plenty of room on the ledge. I don't like it back there, but I love this. this side I want to do my creamers and sugar bowls and maybe even my gravy boats but I have this really pretty 
Marble Lazy Susan. And I may just fill this up with my things. So my daddy made this. This was a cupcake stand at my daughter's wedding. And I think I'm just going to fill it with this. Honestly, this one's skinnier. Just to kind of mix in, maybe. Let's see what else I have. something in the center so now that I have it all up here and I'm looking at how crowded all my teapots are I'm almost thinking to move Cute. It just needs something. These were my mother's, so I just want to have them out. just some uh, seeded eucalyptus. I'm just going to kind of stick that in my bin my smell. Maybe fill it in just a little bit. So this is another little storage piece that I use quite a bit. I've got a lot of greenery and just a lot of decor in it. And I just put it in there. It doesn't mash it. It's perfect to store stuff in. 
and I've got a lot of storage. the dining room table cleaned off but I wanted to show y'all this is an antique churn that I got from Allie off of Rusty Ridge Vintage off Instagram um she had seen that I had used one of my new ice cream churns that looked old so when she had this come up I told her I loved it and she made it where I could get it and I am so thankful for it but I am going to use the brass container that I got the other day so let's get all these flowers out absolutely precious it's got the crank on it and everything it's so cute but um, it's very heavy here's the new brass pot that I got I'm gonna keep it on this so it'll be easier for me to put flowers in I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do here I think I want to use the greenery. I'm just not sure about the flowers. This is beautiful. I got it at a local store. Love lamb's ear. And of course, I want to use my blueberries. There you go. I think I'm going to use <laughs> So this is the last thing I want to show you. So I have these I have these crystals on my chandelier. And I found these vintage crystals, and that's what that is. So all I did, is you can see, it has a tiny little hook right there. And I just took my jute. Cut my piece of jute. And I did cut my jute kind of long, so I'd have plenty of room. And I made sure that this was a nice, nice hoop. Then I took my jute and ran it through. Took my jute and run it through just like that. 
and mash the wire over that really good, okay? And then I just take this, and I do wrap it a couple times, and then I tie it in a knot. And then I just cut it. So y'all, don't pass these up if you see them. All right, guys, it's the next morning. I was so tired, I could not film the last of it. So I just wanted to take you around the room and let you see. Um, I just put some little things on either table beside the chairs. I think this turned out really pretty with all my teapots and my creamers and sugar bowls, super sweet. I'm gonna turn around. The hutch looks gorgeous. I love all the dark blue in there. Very pretty. This side, it looks kind of plain, but I'm loving the, just the clean look. Uh, I don't have very much red, white, and blue in here. I did kind of switch around this area just a bit, moving the bowl on this side, but I love the platters up here, and y'all know that I'm kind of leaning towards more platters. I didn't change my creamers and sugar bowls up here, but the dining room table, oh my goodness. This dining room table was made by one of my friends. Uh, I love the base of it. She said it was a booger to build. It's eight foot long. Uh, I wanted something big for this room. This room is huge, y'all. And I can do a lot of furniture in it. But I love this big, big table. Just makes it feel so homey. And it is a farmhouse. So, and my crystals on my chandelier are really sweet. You know, I did this mural with you guys, and I'm still loving it. I think I want to add some more trim above my window and possibly change that up just slightly, but this looks like our backyard to me. Everything screams home in here. So glad I could share it with you guys. So glad that um, today's a beautiful morning, and I've got to go to work. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Have an awesome day. Hope to see y'all Saturday.